Egyptian Pyramids Ancient masonry buildings called the Egyptian Pyramids can be seen in Egypt. There are at least 118 known Egyptian pyramids, according to sources. About 80 pyramids were constructed in the Kingdom of Kush, which is now a part of contemporary Sudan. The majority of those found in modern Egypt were constructed as tombs for the rulers of the nation during the Old and Middle Kingdom eras. Although only one step pyramid-like structure, Mastaba 3808, dating to the First Dynasty and associated with the reign of Pharaoh Anajib, has been discovered at Saqqara, northwest of Memphis, with inscriptions and other archaeological remains of the time, indicating there may have been others, earlier pyramids have also been discovered there. The Pyramid of Djoser, erected between 2630 and 2610 BCE during the Third Dynasty, is the oldest of these. Most people agree that this pyramid and the surrounding complex are the oldest monumental dressed masonry monuments in existence. The Giza pyramids, which located outside of Cairo, are the most well-known Egyptian structures. Several of the Giza pyramids rank among the biggest buildings ever constructed. The largest pyramid in Egypt is the Pyramid of Khufu. Despite being the oldest wonder by roughly 2,000 years, it is the only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world that is still standing. Historical Development The oldest pyramid, the Pyramid of Zoser in Saqqara, built around 2600 BCE, has a stepped shape that may have evolved from Mesopotamian ziggurats, which were constructed between 400 and 3500 BCE. In the Saharan region of Niger, tumuli with megalithic structures emerged as early as 4700 BCE, preceding presumed earlier sites in the Eastern Sahara. It's also likely that the mastaba and pyramids of ancient Egypt may have its roots in these megalithic structures from the Saharan regions of Niger and the Eastern Sahara. Tumuli can be found in a variety of places from the pre-dynastic period in Egypt, example, Nakata, Helwan. From the early dynastic period, circa 3150 to 2686 BCE, wealthy Egyptians were interred in mastaba tombs, which resembled benches. It was discovered that the first dynasty's Mastaba 3808 at Saqqara contained a sizable, independently constructed step pyramid-like structure enclosed within the outer palace facade Mastaba. There may have been further structures of this type from this time period, according to archaeological artifacts and inscriptions. Egyptologists believe that the third dynasty pharaoh Djoser built the earliest known Egyptian pyramid in recorded history. Although Egyptologists frequently credit his vizier Imhotep as its builder, the dynastic Egyptians themselves did not attribute to him the creation of stone architecture or the design of Djoser's pyramid, either at the time or in several subsequent dynastic texts about the figure. The pyramid of Djoser was initially constructed as a square mastaba-like structure, whereas these structures were typically known to be rectangular. This square mastaba-like structure was later expanded several times through a series of accretion layers to produce the stepped pyramid structure we see today. Egyptologists think this structure acted as a huge staircase for the pharaoh's soul to use to go to paradise. After Djoser, more pyramid attempts were made, but it wasn't until the fourth dynasty, during which the step pyramid gave way to the genuine pyramid shape, that the great pyramids of Midam, Dasher, and Giza were built. Beginning in the 5th dynasty, the immense scale and precision of building considerably declined, leaving these later pyramids smaller, less well-built, and frequently hastily constructed. Shepskaf, the last pharaoh of the 4th dynasty, did not build a pyramid. Pyramid construction had largely stopped by the end of the 6th dynasty, and it wasn't until the Middle Kingdom that significant pyramid construction resumed, however this time the primary building material was mud brick rather than stone. After most of Egypt was brought under the control of the Kingdom of Kush, which was then located at Napata, and long after the end of Egypt's own pyramid building phase, a surge of pyramid building took place in what is now Sudan. The 25th dynasty, often known as the Napatan era, ruled from 750 BCE to 664 BCE. Around 180 indigenous royal pyramid tombs with Egyptian influences were built close to the kingdom's major towns during the Meroitic period of Kushite history, which roughly spans the period between 300 BCE and 300 CE. At this time, the monarchy was centered on Mero. Pyramid Symbolism The primordial mound, 
from which the Egyptians believed the earth was created, is said to be represented by the shape of the Egyptian pyramids. The majority of pyramids were faced with polished, highly reflecting white limestone to give them a spectacular appearance when viewed from a distance. The design of a pyramid is also supposed to be symbolic of the sun's descending rays. Additionally, names for pyramids frequently made reference to solar light. The Bent Pyramid at Dasher, for instance, was formerly known as the Southern Shining Pyramid, and Sanusrit II at El Lahan as Sanusrit Shines. There is still debate on the specific theological principles that may have given rise to the pyramids, despite the fact that it is generally accepted that they were funeral monuments. They may have been created as a sort of resurrection machine, for example. The night sky's dark region, in which the stars appear to spin, was seen by the Egyptians as the actual entrance to the heavens. One of the slender shafts that run through the Great Pyramid's entire body and out into this portion of the sky from the main burial chamber is pointed squarely in that direction. This raises the possibility that the pyramid was created to act as a vehicle for magically launching the deceased pharaoh's soul into the realm of the gods. The west bank of the Nile, where all Egyptian pyramids were constructed, was considered the region of the dead in Egyptian mythology since it was where the sun set. Construction Techniques in order to build the pyramids, enormous amounts of stone had to be moved. While the majority of the blocks came from nearby quarries, some unique stones, including white limestone from Tura and granite from Aswan, were shipped on large boats from distant sites. 2013 saw the discovery of papyri known as the Diary of Mirror near an ancient Egyptian harbor on the Red Sea coast. They are logbooks from more than 4,500 years ago, kept by a person with the title inspector, who recorded the movement of white limestone from Turakori to the Great Pyramid of Giza, the pharaoh Khufu's tomb, along the Nile River. It's probable that wooden sleds were used to convey quarry blocks to the construction site after wetting the sand in front of them to lessen friction. Sand grains become connected to one another thanks to water droplets that built bridges between them. The numerous found cutting tools suggest that the stones were cut close to the construction site. On the previously constructed foundations, the final blocks were positioned. A rough square level, water trenches, and knowledgeable surveyors were used to level the foundations. 12 Most Fascinating Pyramids in Egypt 1. Pyramid of Khufu The Pyramid of Khufu is the only one of the seven ancient wonders of the world that is still standing. The Pyramid of Khufu, which is situated in the heart of Giza, also happens to be the biggest pyramid in Egypt. The building is also known as the Pyramid of Cheops and the Great Pyramid of Giza. According to historians, the Pyramid of Khufu was constructed about 2560 BC, and it is estimated that it took 10 to 20 years to complete. 2. Pyramid of Khafur Adjacent to the Pyramid of Khafu is the Pyramid of Khafur. Although the Pyramid of Khafur is somewhat smaller, it is often considered to be the sister structure of Khafu. Constructed in 2570 BC, just a decade after Khafu, the Pyramid of Khafur also belongs to the 4th Egyptian dynasty. The Pyramid of Khafur, however, was designed as the final resting place of the pharaoh Khafur, who is also referred to in history books as Shefren. 3. Red Pyramid Dasher is home to the Red Pyramid, sometimes referred as as the North Pyramid. The red limestone used in building it gave it its name. The Red Pyramid has the largest base of any pyramid in Egypt, second only to the Great Pyramid of Khufu at Giza. However, at 104 meters, it is considerably shorter due to its side's 43 degree slope, 341 feet. It is currently Egypt's third largest and fourth highest pyramid. It was the first successful real, smooth-sided pyramid constructed in Egypt, even though it was no longer the largest. It also introduced the widely recognized Giza style of pyramids. 4. Bent Pyramid After Giza and Saqqara, the most historically significant pyramid field in all of Egypt is Dasher. In the heart of Dasher is the Bent Pyramid, built in approximately 2600 BC under the reign of Pharaoh Sneferu of the Old Kingdom. 
The bent pyramid is given its name thanks to its construction. The base of the structure rises up from the desert floor at a 54 degree angle, but the angle of the top section is closer to 43 degrees. As a result, the pyramid looks almost bent, or titled over to one side. The formal name of the pyramid is the Pyramid of Sneferu, or the Southern Shining Pyramid. 5. Steppe Pyramid of Djoser. A region named Saqqara, which is only 25 kilometers, 15 miles, south of Cairo, has a pyramid field that is home to some of the earliest pyramids in Egyptian history. The Steppe Pyramid of Djoser is one of the most notable, usually regarded as the earliest cut stone building in the world and serving as a vital landmark for Egyptologists, archaeologists, and architects alike. Imhotep, the vizier of Pharaoh Djoser, began building the Steppe Pyramid of Djoser during the Third Dynasty, and it was finished about the 27th century BC. 6. Pyramid of Menkor the Pyramid of Khufu, the Pyramid of Khafre, and the Pyramid of Menkor are the three main monuments that are usually mentioned when someone mentions the Pyramids of Giza. The Pyramid of Menkor is by far the smallest of the three. However, it plays a significant role in Giza's design, and if you're in the vicinity, it's definitely worth a trip. For the 4th Dynasty Pharaoh Menkor, this 65-meter-tall pyramid was constructed in 2510 BC, 213 feet. As a result, the Pyramid of Menkor is nearly half as tall as its nearby counterparts. Red granite and limestone were utilized in the construction of the Pyramid of Menkor, with limestone being used more toward the top of the pyramid. Archaeologists and historians surmise that the pyramid was incomplete because some of the granite in it was left in an unfinished state. 7. Pyramid of Midam Midam is a pyramid that is located around 100 kilometers, 60 miles, south of Cairo and is almost as tall as the Pyramid of Menkorian in Giza. Midam is older than the Pyramids of Giza because it was built during the Third Dynasty of Ancient Egypt. Huni, the very last king of the Third Dynasty, was the target audience for Midam. It is obvious that at this point, building pyramids was not a science. Midam was first constructed as a step pyramid with terraces to facilitate construction on each level, as opposed to having smooth sides. Sand was used in place of stone for the outer layer as well, which may have contributed to the pyramid's eventual collapse. 8. Pyramid of Unas The Pyramid of Unas is situated near Saqqara. The Pyramid of Unas was constructed in the 24th century BC for the Pharaoh Unas, who ruled as the 5th dynasty's last king. Although it was once 43 meters, 141 feet, tall, the Pyramid of Unas is now largely in ruins. 9. Pyramid of Teddy Another significant building situated in Saqqara's pyramid fields is the Pyramid of Teddy. Teddy was the second of the Egyptian pyramids to have pyramid texts, or magic spells written or carved into the walls of the tombs, and it was constructed between 2345 and 2333 BC during the 6th dynasty. The Pyramid of Teddy was discovered through investigation and excavation in the late 19th century to consist of two smaller pyramids most likely built for the queens of the pharaoh Teddy, a funerary temple, and one large pyramid for the king's burial. 10. Pyramid of Hoera The Pyramid of Hoera, built by Amenmahat III, the sixth pharaoh of the 12th dynasty, is located three hours' drive south of Cairo. The Pyramid of Hoera was built, according to historians, in 1850 BC, making it roughly 3,865 years old now. Because it appears far darker than other Egyptian pyramids from the same era, the Pyramid of Hoera is frequently referred to as the Black Pyramid. The pyramid's dark color is a result of its construction from brick stones and limestone covering. 11. Pyramid of Yuzurkaf The Pyramid of Yuzurkaf, one of the Saqqara pyramids, was erected between 2494 and 2487 BC while Yuzurkaf, a 5th dynasty pharaoh, was in power. The native name for the pyramid, El Haram El Maharbish, translates directly to, heap of stone, which is far from lyrical. 
Userkaf truly has a core of debris, and what was left over was dressed stone. The pyramid of Userkaf is now in ruins and resembles a sand conical hill rather than a genuine pyramid. 12. Pyramid of Lahan. Around 1180 BC, during the reign of Sanusrit II of the 12th dynasty, work began on the Pyramid of Lahan, also known as El Lahan. El Lahan, which translates as Mouth of the Canal, was in fact located close to the water. The causeways and corridors inside this now ruined pyramid are mostly demolished and inaccessible. Even in the 1840s, a time when explorers were anxious to unearth and catalogue as many Egyptian pyramids as they could, it took the British archaeologist Sir Flinders Petrie months to just locate the pyramid's entrance. Thank you for watching. View more our channel videos.